Four weeks ago, Godspeed You Black Emperor released a new song entitled Grey Rubble, Green Shoots, which is playing underneath me as I speak. Born out of Montreal's underground music scene in the mid-1990s, Godspeed You Black Emperor have shaped the landscape of post-rock and experimental music, repudiating mainstream fame and corporate interests and refusing to compromise their principles, changing the world of music forever through the sheer power of their sound, sprawling epic compositions that stretch the boundaries of what rock music can be. The songs build slowly, crescendoing into overwhelming emotional climaxes, taking elements of classical music, drone, ambient noise and rock, weaving them together into a cinematic and immersive experience. But even more than their highly original sound, it is their ethos as a fiercely independent and political entity that that sets them apart. Godspeed You Black Emperor are a living embodiment of anti-capitalist anarchist principles, a group of musicians determined to challenge the status quo, not just in the music industry but in society at large. Their debut, F Sharp A Sharp Infinity, released in 1997, is the foundation stone of the legacy, a sprawling apocalyptic soundscape that stunned the world, hailed by critics as a groundbreaking masterpiece, a soundtrack for the end of the world. Following this, their 1999 EP, Slow Riot for New Zero Canada, was darker, more focused and packed with political undertones, with a man ranting about conspiracy theories and failed systems, evoking a sense of deep existential crisis. In 2000, Lift Your Skinny Fists Like Antennas to Heaven was released, and it is widely considered their magnum opus, spanning nearly 90 minutes and cementing their place as revolutionary innovators, a masterclass in tension and release. The album is a sonic journey that defies categorization. At the heart of their philosophy is a burning hatred of capitalist greed and corporate control. 2002 saw the release of Yankee UXO, an overtly political album that critiques the military-industrial complex with the album's artwork mapping connections between record companies and arms manufacturers, delivering their most ferocious album both musically and ideologically, an unflinching soundtrack to the brutal reality of unchecked capitalism. Explicitly rejecting the notion that music should be driven by profit or fame, they've embraced the DIY ethos in every aspect of their work, from their own recording space, Montreal's Hotel 2 Tango, to self-managing their projects. Their label, Constellation Records, is an extension of these principles, founded with their anti-corporate ideals that provide artists with fair contracts, transparency and full control over their art, rejecting the exploitative practices that dominate the music industry with an artist first model. Despite their massive influence, one of the band's most defining features is their humility. They rarely give interviews, they avoid traditional marketing and they operate as a collective with no defined leader without seeking fame or the spotlight. By keeping themselves in the background, the music and the message take centre stage. After a decade-long hiatus, Godspeed You Black Emperor returned in 2012 with Alleluia Don't Bend Ascend. When they won the Polaris Music Prize in 2012, they didn't celebrate, but instead responded by criticising the nature of such awards themselves and donating the prize money to help fund musical instruments in Quebec's prisons. Their work has inspired countless artists such as Mogwai and Explosions in the Sky, but Godspeed You Black Emperor don't seem to view themselves as pioneers, but simply following in the steps of what came before. They've never cashed in on this legacy, remaining focused on creating and supporting those that align with their ideals. For almost 30 years, their releases have served as an uncompromising reflection of their worldview, a soundtrack for resistance, rebellion, and the possibility of another future. With their 2017 
release Luciferian Towers, the band explicitly stated that the album was against the state and against the weakening of the human spirit. Cinematic as ever, the urgency in their message had sharpened with an ability to convey hope in the midst of despair, another profound statement in both sound and politics. Most recently, God's P at State's End saw the band return to a more chaotic, anarchic form with dense layers of soundscapes that reflect the turbulent times, a stark, unflinching response to global instability. In a world corrupted by celebrity culture, Godspeed You Black Emperor stands as a symbol of what can be done when artists stay true to their beliefs and refuse to take part in the established music industry. Their legacy is proof that music can be a profound force for change. Their latest album, poignantly titled after the Palestinian death toll on February the 13th, confronts the harsh realities of our world, refusing to shy away from uncomfortable truth. And I haven't even heard it yet. If their previous work is any indication, this will be one of the most vital and important records of the year. Godspeed you Black Emperor, soundtracking Armageddon. <laughs>